اردو ہندی شکر الحمد للہ تمام ساتھیوں کو ایک بار پھر یا علی مدد نور مولانا شاہ کریم الحسینی حاضر امام حاضر امام یا مولا مہربان مدد فرما القیوم علی اللہ القیوم علی اللہ مدد فرما نور مولانا شاہ کریم الحسینی حاضر امام یا مولا توفیق تاہید ہمت و یاری مولا یا مولا اپنے نور سے ہماری دور نہیں کر یا مولا ہمارے قریب آتے ہوئے اپنا دست مبارک ہم غریبوں پر رکھ مولا اپنے نور کی روشنی میں ہمیں آگے بڑھانا مولا یا مولا مہربان توفیق تاہید ہمت و یاری مولا ایک بار پھر تھینک یو فار انوائٹ می اینڈ آلویز نائس ٹو سی دی فرینڈس اینڈ دی فیملی ہیئر آن دس لائن وی ول کنٹینیو آن آور سبجیکٹ اینڈ اے بیوٹیفل کوشچن دیر واز ریس ایٹ دی اینڈ آف آور پریویس کلاس اینڈ وی ول اسٹارٹ وتھ دیٹ and if you remember we were talking about the prayers in our dua and we were looking at this part 2 where we were talking about allahumma ya maulana anta salam wa minka salam wa laika yarjus salam and then the fourth line was hayyana and the question comes from this word hayyana is a two word and the friend who caught this congratulation that shows that we have some great friends some great uh, people on this line who are paying attention who truly want to learn and they are learning with a lot of intellect, a lot of logic, and they are disciplined, they are paying attention, and I do appreciate that. It makes me happy that we are just not here, but we are here together, me and you, to learn new things every single time, every single day. Hai yana, two words, is a one combo word, Hayyana, but it's a combination of two words. Hay, hay literally means one who is living or one who can make you alive. Gujarati ma, ji pote paan hamesha jive chhe, ne tamne bhi evi zindagi api sage chhe, ke tamne paan kya re ni marso. Hamesha mate zinda se hiya. تو ہئی نو مطلب بے طرف سے صحیح چھے کہ پوتے پڑھ زندہ چھے نے تم نے پڑھ زندہ کری سگے چھے ہئی ہئی یا نا ام نے ایوی زندگی آپ جی تارا گر چھے ہوئے دنیا ماں ایک اچھ مانس چھے جی کیا رہے پڑھنا دی مرتا ہوں میننگ who is la yamut we all remember we had talked about la yamut what was la yamut the one who never dies 
לימות, right? So here we are asking in our second part of dua that Yamula give us a life that you have. Make us alhai just like you. Make us la yamut just like you. So the question is how? How do we become alhai and la yamut? The answer was given and is given again today. You become one with Imam. If we are one with the Imam, then we are one with the Imam and therefore we are La Yamut. Because he never dies, you will never die either. SubhanAllah. So that was the question that had came last week. If there was any other question from last week, and there was some beautiful question last week, and uh, we were not able to cover this because it came at the very end. So if there was any other question that I don't remember, please do ask and we will uh, continue with those questions. Sir, In I asked last week about the Dinan translation. Oh, Shirapa. Uh. <laughs> Let me see. No problem, no problem. There's Should I look at it right now? No, no, we do it next week, sir. Okay, okay, okay. No problem. No. Would Mafia. you do me a favor? Thank sir. you so much. Do me a favor. Would you yes, remind sir. me on Friday? Inshallah. Please. Put I'll, some write kind of it, somewhere. I'll write it straight in my diary. I'll remind you straight in my diary. Thank you, Thank you no. so much. All right, sir. It. My my apology? No problem. No okay. Problem. All right. So, uh, let's go to the part to continuation, there was one more prayers in our, within our dua. So the, for those friends who were not with us last week, we are on the subject of prayers and remembrance and supplication. And we were going through the dua to see where within our dua, there are prayers hidden which we could use, which we could use in our daily prayers. Not in our dua, but whenever you like. And if you think of this one, how beautiful this prayer is. During the daytime, whenever you feel close to Imam, you remember Imam, you can call on him. Allahumma ya Mulana anta salam wa minka salam wa leka salam. Now you know the meaning of it. Hayna rabna bisala. Vatikana daras salam. Tabarakta rabna vataleta. Ya zal jalali valikram. And definitely you can do that, my mola. It will give you so much happiness. Not because you are reciting the dua, because now you know what you are saying because you understand the dua. You are understanding what you are saying, what you are asking. It will bring you close to the Imam and that will bring you happiness, inshallah. So within the second part, Allahumma ya Mulana minka madadi. That is one part of our humility, humbleness, and supplication. You notice at the beginning of every session, regardless of which session we are in, what do we do? That's exactly what we do. We ask for his blessing and we ask for his help because we understand as human, we are nothing, we are gari, we are nachis, we are helpless. Oh, Ya Mullah, help us. And how do you help us? Help us with your noor. 
help us with your noor. So in that light, we can walk. In the light, we can see. In the light, we can understand the ill and talim, inshallah. So that is the prayer in our second part. Continue, and then we say, upon you, we rely. Because there is no one other than him who is always listening and is always ready to help you. Always ready to help you. Matter of fact, is happy to help you. If you wanted to see that part, happy to help you, you can find that in our dua, Biluf Tafrika Adrikani. Biluf with the pleasure, with the pleasure, with your happiness, come and help me. You see that? That's how we need to know our dua. Mala Papa in the Farman, which is in front of your dua book, says, you must know the meaning of your dua. You know what Mala Papa says in that dua book, in that Farman? I don't want you to recite the dua if you don't know the meaning of it. Think about that part. Malapa said, I do not want you to recite the dua without knowing the meaning of it. That's how important it is to know the meaning of the dua. That's how important it is. And we can see today the importance of knowing the dua. Because within our dua, there are so much that can give us a daily dose of happiness, of spiritual enlightenment, inshallah. In part three, we recite that Ya Mola, and here you notice whenever there's a word Mola. In this book, you may see the meaning of my mola as my Lord, but my humble opinion and suggestion. When you come to the word my mola, translate that, keep in mind as my master. Let me tell you what is the difference between my Lord and my master. Okay, and see if you can make this your own, personalize it. When we say my Lord, he's far away above all else. We cannot see him, we cannot comprehend him, we cannot get to him, we cannot touch him, we cannot understand him, he's above all else. Too far, but when I say my master, I'm showing him my humility and I'm saying I'm your slave and you are my master right in front of me. So tell me what you want me to do. You are my master. So tell me what you like me to do. That is how personalized we need to make our dua. Now you understand why Imam says you must know your dua. If you're going to recite your dua, then you must know it. Because if you don't know your dua, how are you gonna get so close as a slave and a master? Where does slave sit? In the feet of the master. That's what I mean. Personalize it. So whenever you come into the dua and you find the word Ya Mola in your mind, the translation or the meaning should come. The image it should represent. Imam in one of his farman says, 
whenever you come to those ayat it should it should represent a concept in your mind the word master mola should represent a concept in your mind that he is your master and you are his slave and where is slave in his feet close to him that's what i'm trying to tell you the master and slave they are close to each other so he can guide us he can give us the farman so we can obey so you feel this closeness and mola have said many time come close to me come close to me come closer and closer and closer so use those word that makes you closer to the imam e zaman concept it should bring you a concept all right so seek the time of the difficulties and you can see it's kind of continuation from the above that oh my mola help me you, i on you i rely seek the time of difficulty the help of the master the living imam shah karim al husaini all right part number 4 here and i'm again telling my friends here i would like to humbly ask you to if you truly understand the meaning of the dua not translation okay khabar hai na translation man na mayne ma so farak hoy che translation khali alfazo na tarjuma hoy che translation hoy che mani no matlab che ke ji eno asal matlab che urdu ke andar usko manvi mane kehte hain manvi mane the deeper understanding in english when you come to the fourth and again in fifth part and when you raise your hand and say allahumma mafridna zunubna you should be so emotional in your heart that you should have tears in your eyes if you understand the dua you are saying i am sinful please forgive me please forgive me you are begging i am sinful please forgive me why and how would it not bring tears to your eyes you know why because when we are reciting we are not understanding what we are saying we are not paying attention to what we are asking we don't know the meaning of the dua and imam said if you don't know the meaning of the dua do not recite the dua cuz dua is so beautiful so beautiful each word should bring a concept in your heart you should have tears in your eyes that's how beautiful prayers are inside our dua allahumma mafrinna zunubna warzukna warhamna and give us the rozi here i would like to add few words if you are with us this morning in our betul khayal farman explanation when you come to this word rozi and if you are thinking of mal malinda paisa duniya then you are already are thinking of the temporary world the physical and forgetting what is permanent your soul your eternal life so when you come to this one rozi give us barakat in our spiritual elevation and understanding 
of the ilm and the dua, the ginan and the farman, understanding and recognizing the imam of the time. That is the permanent rosy we are seeking. Along with that, a physical rosy comes. Thank you, Mala Baba. That is his extraordinary Ramad blessing on us spiritual children. But we should be seeking a spiritual and intellectual rosy, which is permanent, which is permanent. And have mercy on us, Ya Mullah, in the name of your close and high messenger. Here we are giving a vasta. Apre samjhe je na apre ona vasto lein je ke falana na vaste mane maaf kari de. Aya apre ke je Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam taro mukarab, taro dear, taro loving messenger na vaste si tu mara guna maaf kari na. Oh, my pure Imam. Oh, my pure Imam. How Imam is pure? Because he is the Noor, and Noor is always pure. Babik Hak Nai, Molana Imam Al Shah Karim Al Seni Hazar Imam. And in the name of our master and our Imam Shah Karim al Saini. Pa B Haki, this word right there. Wa and or Urdu man. B Haki. B Haki, even though simple meaning is true, but truly. Truly true, because they emphasize on B Haki, not just Haki, but B Haki, in the true sense. Wake an, pure an pakiza. Emphasize, put on Hakiki. Ke ji Hakiki mola chena, ji sacho imam chena, ena mate emphasize rakhwa mai biche. Be haki. A Arabic no ek ajibo karib tariko che, ke koin na vat mate emphasize karibuena. Then agar ma, ba, and a bi lagarvama ave. For example, bis milla. Emphasize. Emphasize rahama ava. In a mate. E. G. Wake an Hakiki Imam Che Ena Wasesi Maraguna Mafkar. So this was our fourth part. Now let's come to our fifth part. Inshallah, we will be able to finish fifth and sixth both today, and then we will continue next week for the, with the rest of the final subject, hopefully, on this subject. Again, Rabna Gafilna Zunubna, same line of concept. That we are sinful, O oh, our master, O oh, our nourisher, Rabna, nourisher, forgive our sin. And make our task easy. Here, Wasihil Umurna. Wasail Urdu me Kamo ko kete hai. Balke Wasail Kamo ke anjam dene ke tari ke ko kete hai. Wasail. Agar aapke baas peer pindiyate jawa mardi parman ki kitabe Imam Muslim Sibilla ki. Usme aapko ye alfaz milenga. कि हम अजबाब बनाते हैं। We provide the ways in English में। We provide the ways 
So what we are saying, oh my master, forgive our sin and provide the ways to make my life easier. Mara mola, mara guna maaf kar, anna mane evo ek tariko batar, ek rasso batar. Ye jenisi mara kaam chena, ye asan thai jai. Think, ask yourself, have we ever thought like this? When we are reciting the dua, have we ever had this kind of understanding? Knowing the meaning of the dua is so important because it has anything and everything you are looking for in a perfect dua. Perfect dua. That is dua. So, provide us the ways to make my work, my life easy. May it be physical life, spiritual life, or intellectual life. Varzukna Varhamna. Same line again. And give us our rosy, spiritually, intellectually, along with that, if physical comes. Amin Ya Rabbil Alameen. And have mercy on us. Inna kala kulishen kadir. Really, you are all powerful. All powerful. And then, again, this word. When you raise your hand again after Yali Ya Muhammad. Do it with humility. Not with absent minded. Do it with mindfulness. After Yali Ya Muhammad, when you raise your hand, Ya Imam is Zaman, Ya Molana. You know, mindfulness brings that emotion in your heart with ajizi, with humility. Narmi na sate, ishq na sate. Ya mara mola, ya mara master. Like that. Bring emotion. Be mindful. So when you call him, you know, call with their zeal. Like a child lost in the market without the mother. But you give it the pukar in a putani mane. Evil the tamna pukar vanuche. If you go by the market, ma, to kevu raar pare, evil the ya molana, ya imam is the man, ya molana, evil the in a mani gem. एक बारक नीचेम बोला वानो चे पच्ची जो तमने दुआ मा केवी मजा आवे चे ने कितनी खुशी साई चे तमे जमा से से आओ सो तो तमे खुश 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 तो जारे तमे ऑनलाइन पर दुआ पर सो तो तमे खुश 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 तो सुका में के अमना अमना तमारी मुलाकात तमारी जोड़ जी से ना ये मोला बाबा साथ से चाहिए थी। तमने फील था से तमारे दिल माँ, तमने ये खुशी महसूस था से कि मोला बाबा हमारा कितनों बाजू माँ तो। चारे मैंने कितनों ये मारी माँ तो ये फौरन सी आवी न मन्ने उपाड़ी ली तो। एवी खुशी था से आपना दिल ना अंदर। अगर आपने द्वानी मानी समझिए ने पची द्वा पढ़ी है आ मुलानो फरमान चे इन्शाल्ला the further अंतकु वती वा अंत सनदी तुझ मारो स्ट्रेंथ चो अने तू ही मारो सपोर्ट चो आपने शुरू मासे की तो या मुला मने तोफी ताहित हिम्मत अने यारी आप 
this is the dua part that comes from. You are my strength and you are my support. From you, I get the strength. From you, I get the tahid. From you, I have the ability to do whatever you need me to do. Because my strength is you and my support comes from you. And you I rely upon. On you I rely on. Because there's no one else I can add. You are the one I rely on. Oh, ever present, ever living, oh Shah Karim Al Husseini. You are the true manifested Imam. Antal Imamul Hakkul Mubin. Mubin, the Imam, the one we can see with our own eyes. Not their Imam, JKJ Gemaro Imam Gaibche. No, not that one. The ever living, ever present, the Imam that you can see Mubin with your eyes. Ye apra samne hazir and mojuche. E imam. Na ke koi gaib imam. Apre gaib na mate ne. Hazir imam na mate yakin ra kenche. Last part, part number six. Allahumma be haki. Remember? Be haki. Oh Allah, because the word Allahumma che ya Mulana si Allahumma be haki. Oh Allah, in the name of Panchsanapad, in the name of all of the Imams, and then we recite from Ali to Shah Karim. Wabi haki again, be haki, wabi haki, Mulana Imaminal. Hazril Mojud, Shah Karim Al Husseini, in the name of our Mola, our present ever living Imam, Shah Karim Al Husseini, Rehmna, Rehmgar Mola, Tafrinna, Wafrinna, Amara Gunane Mafarma, Inna Kala Kulishain Kadir, Ane. To be shak e kam karisageche, so kam ake atara hatmache. You are the most all powerful. I wanted to leave you with a thought. Again, the Furman. Imam said, when you recite an ayat, you should bring a concept in your heart. We recite our dua how many times a day? Three times a day. How old are we? Let's say 40, 50, 60, 70. Multiply by 365, multiply by three. And I wanted to leave you with one thought. Look at how perfect this dua is. There cannot be dua without the praise of the Imam. There cannot be a dua without the praise of the Imam. So we start our dua with Alhamdulillah. And we end our dua with Alhamdulillah. Because without the praise, the dua cannot be started and cannot be ended. I believe it should give, give you a goosebump to know that something was right in front of our eyes the entire life. And if we don't remember anything, if we remember to say Alhamdulillah, 
praise be upon him. Alhamdulillah, we start and with Alhamdulillah, we end. Because all praises are due to him. And that is our beautiful dua and within our dua, there are beautiful prayers, inshallah. So our next uh, and last sub, uh, the uh, part of our five part series will be sajood and supplication, which will be inshallah, start next week and finish next week, inshallah. This is our fourth part of this series. So let's open the mic and uh, chat. So if we have any comments, any question, uh, then we can uh, surely uh, can talk about it. And we have enough time to do so today. Sir, can I say something? G. Shiradba. Okay, sir. I raise my address, lower my hand. Okay. Sir, okay. In, the, in the third part of the dua, yeah. we say like, you know. Oh. Okay. okay, third part of the dua. If we say la ilaha illallah, la la ilaha illallah, hul hayu kayum, la ilaha illallah, hul makula kul muin. All those four lines. Is there? A, I I learned from this the uh, long time ago that there is a particular reason why this line have been put in that order, you know. And the mm -hmm. reason why I'm asking you is this question: Is that is this true or not? Because sometimes when we say a dua, some of us miss one of the line. Or oh, the third line is said and the second time and the second part, second line is third in the, you know, a mix up. So is there a particular reason why these three, four lines have been put in that particular order? Okay, so I'm, I'm going to add and clarify your question a little bit further, okay? Shirazba, with your Okay, permission. thank you. Thank you. Okay, all right. Our dua is the most perfect dua and it was approved and reviewed by both Imams, Imam Sultan Mumasha in 56, and again by Imam Hazir Imam in 1960 and 68 respectively, in the time, twice. Mm -hmm. okay? It is important, it is very important, but before I go further than showing this importance of the series, I would like to say, our language is not Arabic, and we are really, really weak human. Sometimes we make mistakes, and we ask Imam to forgive us if and when we make those mistakes, you know, in the sequence, in the way we're supposed to recite our dua. So Mullah will forgive us. You know why? Because we are like a children, right? Innocent children of the Imam. He looks at us, and when we make those kind of mistakes, he just gives us a big smile, big smile on his face. Ye mara beta, na mara nanagra barak, jo tusu boli rocho. You know, he have a big smile. He does not get angry or mind at us. You know, that's how he is. Okay, so let's go to uh, your question. So, yes, because here, the way it was uh, presented, and you know what? Let me show you on our uh, I'm going to pull it up in the English for our English speaking friend. Okay, so give me one second.
Okay, tell me if you see my screen with the blog page in front. Yes, it's page one of six. Okay, yes, okay. So right. here, and I can share this document with uh, friends on the slide. So, and I wanted to bring this for our English speaking friend, because the, if they don't know the Arabic, or if they cannot pronounce the Arabic correctly, or have them mix up and you know, up and down, then they can look at this uh, part three, okay? So what is the part three has, every part has about four section normally, the beginning ayat, the praises, and then the saslimiyat uh, or the acceptance, and then the sajda. Every part has them. So on the second part, meaning dua part number three, second part of the dua part three is actually shahadat. What is shahadat? That's why I say I wanted to add more to your question. First, we need to understand what is shahadat? What are we saying in part three? When we are talking about la ilaha illa, what are we saying? And that is shahadat, meaning you are saying, I know, I accept, and I witness. I witness, that's shahadat, okay? That's shahadat. So la ilaha illallah, huwal hayyul kayyum. So first part right here, I'm going to highlight each one so you can see, and you should be able to see it in blue line now. First, you must accept, give shahada to, that ya, a, o, you, you are ever living and ever present. Without accepting the imam living and present, then what we just talked about, right? We don't believe in hidden, gaib, unseen imam. What do we believe in? Living, present, imam -e mubin. So first, shahada. Ya Mola, you are, I give witness to, that I have seen you with my own eyes. You are hayyul kayyum. You are always living and you are always present. First shahadat. Then, la ilaha illallah. Huwal malikul hakkul mubin. Look at this word, mubin. Mubin kene ke che? Then apne pata ne aikho si joi sakye na? Ta apne paashi shahadat apne che. Pele su shahadat api? Ke tu hamesha living and a present show? And a tu truly, hakiki, sacho, imam che jene hu joy sagu cho, ji mara samne che. So that answer your question, Shirazba, why it is must be in this particular order. And I'm highlighting each part so you can see the second right here. Hakkul Mubin. I'm witnessing, I am I'm accepting that you are the living and present Imam and you are manifested the true Hakiki Imam, the one I can see with my own eyes. I witness to I am witness to that. Then come to the third line of the Shahada. La ilaha. Illallah, hul, malikul, hakul, yakin. And I believe yakin, right? Hakul yakin, at the highest level of belief. Why? How can you have a highest level of belief? Because 
just you said that I have seen you with my own eyes. So now you have a belief. If you don't see it with your eyes, doesn't matter how much you say I believe, how do you know? Have you ever seen him? But you just said, you are living, you are present. I have seen you with my own eyes. So now I have the highest level of belief. Yakin, hakkul yakin, the highest hakkul yakin. That you are, and I believe in you at the highest level. Does that answer your question, Shinabha? The last one. The yes. Fourth one. Yeah. The fourth one. La ilaha illallah malikul malikul yom now that last one is the most important. You know what he says, right? Whatever comes at the end is the most important thing. Is the most important thing. What we are saying, I have seen you, Zahir, Hazir, Mojud. I've seen you with my eyes. I believe it because I have seen you at the highest level. And I am also saying, that on the day I die, the day of my kiamat, you will be my malik, my master, my mola on that day. That's your advanced belief and trust in your imam. So you see how important that is. It's very, very important. Now that we understand this, because remember the reason we make mistakes sometimes, because we don't know Arabic. But we don't have to learn Arabic if only if we understand the meaning of the dua and have the true concept of the dua. Now we can close our eyes and we can say, Mola Baba to Hazir and Mojucho. Mola Baba Mithane Joyo Che, Mola Baba Mane Yakin Che, Sukamiti Mithane Joyo Che, and the two Kiaman Divas of Malik Cho, Jidivas Mu Taragar Hawana to Tuj Mara Malik and Bijuko in here. You see how easy that comes? Remember in this way, and you will never make that mistake. How easy? Our dua, if you Reside with logic and understanding is not that hard. But you have to know the meaning. Imam the boli boli na shay thaki ga bato imam keta bhi hati ke dwani meaning. Sikho. Atla varso si ke che apni chopri na dwani chopri na front page ma se parman lagadi na ekho. Ke tamhe agar dwani meaning nasi jaan sa to varai mervani tamhe dwani na pati. Meaning, not translation, meaning, understanding, have that concept. When you recite the dua, it should touch your heart if you know the meaning of it. It would have tears in your eyes if you know the meaning of it. That's how we're supposed to recite the dua. I'm so happy, Shirazma, that you asked this question. Thank you. I will share this document because this will give you a truly correct way of reciting our dua. Thank Jinai. you, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Sir, Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. This is just beautiful reinforcement. Shukran Shukran In the last part of dua, we say Haki Molana Haki Muhammadin il Mustafa Allah Ali Nil Murtada wa Fatima is Zara. Is it Zara? Some people saying Zara. Can you please uh, give the pronunciation yes. for that word? Okay. Remember Apre Gujarati Bolva Racheng. Apri Jaban Arabic Nati. Apre Jarake, Zarake, Zorake. <laughs> okay, number one. Okay, having said that, Al Zara is the correct pronunciation. Okay, 
but we are just imagine if you have a children or if we ever been around the children when they speak in their funny tongue mommy mommy daddy daddy how much do we love them at that point tell me when we speak in their funny tongue jara kehenge jora kehenge nara kehenge mola loves us he have that big smile like our loving mother and our loving father no worry about that <laughs> i have never worried about that part because imam himself has said in informal i understand arabic is not your language okay and we need to understand arabic is not our language so i will share this document uh, th this one has a correct pronunciation how to recite dua in correct uh, pronunciation if anyone like to uh, learn this is the dua i will share with you uh, in a minute thank you ji you are welcome thank you thank you see this learning can be sometimes funny right we can have some laugh we can be happy about it there's no burden here ji i have three hand raised go ahead uh, rabia ji yali madad rajiz bhai yali madad लास्ट वीक जब आपने ये पार्ट टू का जब बहुत गौर से हम लोग को स्ट्रेस किया था कि या मौलाना या मौलाना अंत सलाम मोमिन का सलाम सब सलामती का वैसे तो ऊपर ऊपर से समझ आती थी लेकिन देन आपने स्ट्रेस किया था कि भाई प्लीज पे अटेंशन तो मैंने वाक, उस वाकई में उसको इतना अटेंशन दिया कि लिख के ने बार 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 उसको बाय हार्ट दिमाग में डाल के और आ, हाथ रेज करके सजदे में जाके उसके बाद से मेरे को जो दुआ का आनंद आता है मैं इट्स स्पीचलेस आई एम स्पीचलेस इतना एकदम डीप समझदारी के साथ मैंने इसको किया तो मोला इतना भी मजा आता है वो दुआ में सजदे में जाके ने एकदम से एक माँ को माँ बाप को अपन लोग बोलते हैं ना तो बहुत आनंद आता है थैंक यू थैंक यू अजीज भाई बहुत बहुत अमोला आपको सुखी सलामत रखे और ऐसी गाइडेंस हमको मिलती जावे जिसमें हम प्रैक्टिकल भी होते हैं थैंक यू सो मच शुक्र अलहमदुल्ला थैंक यू सो मच अजीज भाई सॉरी मैं आपसे ये सेकेंड पार्ट का ये वाला पार्ट जिसका ये भी डिस्कस करें वापस से पूछना चाह रही थी आपके पास रिकॉर्डिंग है लास्ट वीक की नहीं है ओके फरीदा भाई हाँ मुझे आपका नंबर भेजो आपका क्या नाम है आपका मेरा शमीम मोलेदी ना शमीम मोलेदी ना ओके नंबर दो मुझे आपका मैं आपको भेज देती हूँ रिकॉर्डिंग आपको भेज दूंगी आप व्हाट्सएप पे है ना शमीम जी ओके इन द ग्रुप यू कैन सेट इट ऑन ग्रुप एंड शी इज देयर यस ओके थैंक यू अजीज भाई यू वेलकम थैंक यू अजीज भाई यस uh next uh, anis has a hand raised yali madad aziz bhai how are you shukran alhamdulillah mr was last week by the by can you send me a recording as well anis anis i'll send it to you no it's you sent me the wrong one you sent me the one before that okay are you sure 
She yeah. will okay, I'll send research. it to you. No problem. I'll send you this. Yeah, I'll send you this. Exactly. Somebody has already answered one part, which was the translation, or I mean, the pronunciation. So okay. you already answered that. Yes, you're right. We, we, we majority speak Gujarati and understandable. The one I have to ask you is on the fifth part, when we do Yali, Ya Mamad, Ya Mamad, Yali, now Shiraz Bhai has actually uh, given us knowledge on that. That is, we say Yali, Ya Mamad, Ya Mamad, Yali. Now, some people say it 11 times, some people cut it short. How many times are you meant to be saying it? <laughs> Pele Urdu ma, Pachi Gujarati one of Pachi English ma. Agar them the girl who pareche, to Pachi Aish Kevoche, Samaj Mansi auto. If you have to count, I don't know what kind of love we have for the Imam. I do 99, but people cut it short by sometimes 11. Hey, if, uh, again, to your, if you are counting 99, question yeah. is what kind of love you have if you have to well, count. Totally, I do the tasbih using the tasbih, so I know I've done 99, but people cut it sometimes even by, before when they get to 11, they suddenly, you know. So yeah. you, you, th you think it matters if they do it 10 times or 12 times? What I do don't know, this is what I was asking you. <laughs> right, so I'm telling you, if we are counting, yeah. what kind of love do we have? We should be in so much love that we yeah. should not even worry about if it was huh? 10 times or 20 times or 11 times or 12 okay, Perfect, That's all right. the answer to your question. Perfect, thank you very much, Aziz. Uh, bye. Thank you very much. Remember, our tariqa is a tariqa of logic, logic and yeah. intellect, mm -hmm. not sharia, where you have to do this and you have to do this. You yeah. have to do it in a particular way. Yes. If we are still stuck in that particular way, what we are saying, that our mother told us, you must wake up at one time. You must do the brush in a particular time. You must yes. drink your milk. We are not children. No, no. Right? Then we what love... do we do? We yeah. do it with logic and intellect. Okay, Shukra. Thank you for your answer. Thank you very much, Aziz Bhai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nilufar, I believe you have your hand raised. Yeah, Yali Madad as is well. Mereku be ye share karnata if the recording can be shared. Mira pura miss hogya last week kabi. And it was beautiful the way you explained it. I really enjoyed it. Upon say group me hen uh up uh Saturday Sunday group me hai Saturday group me Saturday Sunday group me. Okay, Arsha okay, Arsha Saiba will share with you because I remember seeing you with that group. Okay, so, Bhai, I will tell Arshia Sahiba to share in our Saturday Sunday group. Oh, Kamriya, Kamriya Sahiba will share with you. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, okay Yali Mata. Yali Mata. Aziz Bhai, Kamriya Sahiba, what is your name? And what is your name in Dallas? Yes, yes. His name is Kamriya Sahiba, we call him Kamriya Sahiba. And his name is उसका मुबारक नाम सलीम है और वो प्रेम जमात खाने के बेसुल ख्याल के कामरिया है अभी प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट कामरिया नो जस्ट नहीं करते जस्ट जस्ट प्रीवियस ओके यस अजीज भाई मैं पूछ सकती हूँ मिश्री साहब मैं पूछ सकती हूँ सवाल आप बेशक पूछ सकते हैं आप हमने सुना है कि अगर आप दुआ पढ़ते हैं तो आप इमाम की दर्शन भी कर सकते हैं बेशक बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं नो डाउट मैं बहुत कोशिश करती हूँ इन्शाल्लाह मगर बहुत ही कोशिश करती हूँ हालांकि मुझे मीनिंग तो इतने पता नहीं है मैं पढ़ती हूँ दुआ के मायने मगर एक्सप्लेनेशन जो आप देते हैं बड़ा अच्छा देते हैं ओ ट्रांसलेशन जो है ना वो उसके माने नहीं है तो जब लोग कहते हैं कि मैं तर्जमा पढ़ता हूँ तो आप डायरेक्टली ये कह रहे हैं कि मैं माने नहीं पढ़ता हूँ जबकि इमाम का फरमान है कि माने जाने तर्जमे के लिए इमाम ने बात ही नहीं की है अच्छा अच्छा समझ आई मुझे तो दुआ को समझ के साथ पढ़े इसका मत जी बेशक एक बार दबानी चार बार दबाव 
शायद सात आठ मरतबा भी इसकी रिकॉर्डिंग हो चुकी है आप अच्छा। वो बेशक आप कौन से ग्रुप में है मैं कोई कोई ग्रुप मुझे ग्रुप से पता नहीं क्या सर्कल के ग्रुप में वो प्रेयर सर्कल के ग्रुप में प्रेयर सर्कल के ग्रुप में ओके हाँ। okay, तो फरीदा भाई आपके साथ शेयर करेंगे मैं फरीदा भाई के साथ शेयर कर दूंगा ठीक है ठीक है अच्छा एक और बात आप जब मैं अपना तजुर्बा बताती हूँ नहीं वो कोई ऐसी बात नहीं बताऊंगी मैं आपको अच्छा मगर मैं न्यास पीती हूँ तो मैं खो जाती ओके जब न्यास की दुआ करती हूँ ना मांगती हूँ ना तब मैं खो जाती हूँ भूल जाती हूँ क्या है उसकी क्या वजह भूल ऐसे जाती हूँ मैं मैंने कहा कि आपका जाती तजुबा है जो है उसके बारे में मैं डिस्कस नहीं कर सकता हूँ योर पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस वी शुड नॉट रिव्यूल वी शुड नॉट डिस्कस पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंसेस ओके मगर मगर हम दर्शन कर सकते हैं दुआ में some great of uh, our uh, energy today i can feel there's lot of energy today which is sir, great sir koi nahi bole to main bol sakta hu kuch beshak aap always you can always speak <laughs> sir wo aapko jo abhi question kiya tha na ki 11 dana bolna chahiye ki 13 dana bolna i explained to them in a way that i was told when i was at school chota tha maine to at that time we used to say 33 dana and everything you know like so i asked my religious teacher and he gave me that answer which i gave them i told them that if you are say taking a train from southfield to jamatkhana which is south kensington and somebody tells you you get down at 11th station but what happens if you get down at 9th or 12th you will not reach your destination so that way i explained to her you know in another words you know if just, i told you i would never get off on that station always go to pleno easy <laughs> no station no station <laughs> so i just gave them the answer the way i was told thank you, you know? no 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 you are right yeah you are right. <laughs> remember you, the the ill is at the different level right as the children we were taught exactly. something discipline exactly. you know you supposed to wake up at particular time you supposed to brush in their order supposed to comb your hair in their order supposed to drink your milk in that order but when we grow up that needs to go away we are no longer children right so we you need to children. understand yeah we need to understand in the way the grown up understand the love of the imam it should be so strong that you forget to count and if you are counting what kind of love do you have is like you saying to to your wife i'm only going to tell you i love you once and that's it that's not a love that's accounting sir aise main bolunga to mujhe chhod ke chale jayegi sir ji khayal you have your hand raised go ahead yaad madad asi sir yaad madad 
So this is uh, more like a comment or something interesting uh, that perhaps you can share your thoughts so we can, we can, we can, I can hide a question inside or I can couch it like a question. But, um, you know, since we have on the screen here, uh, which I know you have a very beautiful understanding or explanation of, but the last two lines of the Tabarak Ta Rabbana Wa Ta'alaita Ya Dal Jalali Wa Likram. But one thing I find very interesting is that in Surah 55, Ayat 78, the last, the final Surah, Surah Brahman, the very last Surah, which uh, I think sort of gives the key to the whole Surah, uh, there's a very similar line, but it's slightly different, right? So in the Surah 55 ends with saying, Tabaraka Ismu Rabika Dal Jalali Wa Likram. Whereas here it's saying tabarakta <clears throat> because it means blessed you are. Whereas in the in the course it's tabaraka, it's a it's a comment about the Lord, meaning blessed is the Lord. This is tabarakta as if we're actually we, we as if we heard the verse and now we're addressing the Lord. But the interesting thing is that you know in that Quranic line it says tabaraka ismu rabika, I mean blessed is the name of your Lord. But here we drop the word ismu, and one could ask. Well, why not just make it Tabaraka Isma, just like Quran says, that, that way we get one extra Quranic line, it'll make us feel even better, we have more Quran. But do you think there's something hidden, interesting here? Because we don't have Ismu in this line of Dua, but instead we have sort of Ta'aleta, where we're addressing the Lord Tabaraka directly, saying, and also you are not only full of Barakat, but you're also the one who is Ta'aleta. And of course, Ta'aleta is related to Ta'ala, related to Ali, the name. So we don't have the word ismu, which means name. But we have something interesting. We have ta'aleta. So I don't know, just maybe your thoughts. Am I, am I reading too much into this? Or do you think there's something very powerful that we didn't we didn't quote the Quran verbatim here? But in, in fact, maybe the secret is actually revealed in our dua of that last line. Absolutely. And there is a greater understanding hidden here. If we look one just above it, where it says, because now you are, have entered into the Dar es Salaam. How do you enter into Dar es Salaam? With the Isma Azam. And here you are saying, as you are face to face with him, the word Isam is no longer required. You are face to face with the most highest. And now you are saying that I see you. You are my Lord. You are my nourisher. And you are the most high. Face to face. Initially, in the Quran, we are still trying to get into the Dar es Salaam. Here, we have entered into the Dar es Salaam. And then after entering the Dar es Salaam, you are saying, blessed you are. You are my Lord. You are my nourisher and you are the most higher. Oh, my Lord, you are the Wale Ikram. Here the word Wale Ikram, the most, most, most highest merciful. Why he's the most, most, most highest merciful? Because he was able to bring you into the Dar es Salaam. Because he was able to give you the life that you were asking for. He gave you his own ever living, ever present life and made you just like him. And now you're saying, oh my God, I'm in your presence. And you are tabarakta. You see that? So yes, normally I don't even talk about this until we get to some other highest level class. But your question was so beautiful, I could not resist myself. G. Thank you for explaining that. Thank you. SubhanAllah. Thank you for asking. Uh, Yasmin, you have your hand raised. Yali Madad. Yali Madad. Uh, thank you very much for the explanation. They are really good. But I just can you repeat the uh, this one, uh, the third part, which uh, 
Mukeshira has asked you about, if you can just tell me in short, I just want to write it down. <laughs> uh, you talking about the... Yeah, about the... La ilaha illahu lil qayyum in this... La ilaha illahu lil malakul kumbin, la ilaha illahu malakul kliyakin. Urdu me bolo? No, English me, please. English me. English me. Okay, okay. So in our third part, the way it was sequenized, so the reason of the sequence is because you are giving a witness to, because when you say it's a shahada, right? So in shahada, it must come in the way it is written. And there's a lot of logic and, and thought put into that. So first you are saying, Ya Mola, you are ever living and ever present. I, I'm giving a witness to that because I find you ever living and ever present. And then second one, Mubin. I'm saying you are ever living and ever present because I can see you, you are manifested. I can see you with my own eyes. Therefore, I'm saying you are ever living, ever present because I can see you right in front of me. Third, that I'm saying with hakkul yakin, with the highest, at most belief that you are ever living and you are ever present. Meaning you are not gaib, you are not hidden, you are not out of my sight, you are within my eyesight. So you are ever living, ever present, I can see you and I believe with the highest yakin, faith. And then comes the fourth one. Up to this three, it must be, you, if you have not believed that he's living and present, then other shahada don't mean anything. If you have not seen him with your own eyes, then other shahada doesn't mean anything. Third, if you don't have a belief, the faith, the yakin, hakkul yakin, the highest yakin, then Shada doesn't matter. Then comes the fourth one. Fourth one is the most important because whatever comes at the end is the most important. And you are saying, on the day that I die, you will be my master, my mola. And I also believe that you are my master on the day of Kiyama. Those are the four, and those are the sequence, and those are the perfect sequence in the way it has been written, approved, reviewed, and approved by the two Imam, Sultan Muhammad Shah first, Hazri Imam second, twice in 60 and 68. Thank you very much, Mullah. Bless you for your service. Amen. Amen. G. So any last minute question? I think we should stop here. If there is no last comment or last question. Yali Madad, Aziz, sir. Yali Madad. Sir, I have told you that I will take my chart and tell you that I will 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 tell you that I Yes, yes. Super. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Okay, give me one second. See, you have to remind me. Uh, between all these classes, sometimes I forget. And Shiraz Bak is my witness. I do forget. Okay, so give me one second. Uh, let me break that chart up. And I will share the chart also. <clears throat> Yeah. 
it is much easier to do it with a chart than uh, if there is no chart. And I believe we have made this chart for London a few years back. And it helps a lot because we had the chart in front of us. All right, so let me, I'm gonna make a fresh uh, chart. Let me share my screen and let me know when you see the screen. And here you can see a small chart and there are 24 hours in a day, right? So six hour, and 12 hour. So let's say normally we wake up at six o'clock in the morning. And now this is the individual, you can use this chart for your own use and see what do you do when you wake up in the morning, okay? So we will start from seven o'clock. You wake up at six, so what happened at seven o'clock? Let's say you truly wake up every morning for the dua. So ask yourself a question, do you wake up at three o'clock or do you wake up at four o'clock? And if let's say you're gonna say at four o'clock, okay? So I'm going to highlight four and five o'clock and I'm gonna put that in a green zone, meaning you are in the remembrance of the Mola, okay? Benefit of doubt for everyone, okay? Four to five. Now, you come back home, you take a nap or do whatever. So what happened then? What happened after that? When is the next time do you remember Mola Baba? Let's say again, and we're going to uh, say again, just quickly benefit, benefit of diet, doubt to everyone that Everyone go to Jamaat Khana and say that the one. All right. So this is common for every one of us. How many hours do we have now? In 24 hours? And this is given that every one of us from four to six in the morning and seven to eight in the evening are present for the ibadat, dua, bandagi, and everything, okay? So I'm going to put right over here, three over 24, okay? Three over 24. You know what is the result of three over 24? You'll be so happy and surprised. 12 and a half percent of your 24 hour. What is 12 and a half percent? Anyone? What do we do? The song. The song. The song. You just gave the, the song of your 24 hour. And why did I, do I mention that initially? If any of us is not giving three hour to Imam a day, apre molani the son ne khai jayenche. Bale to make it love you, paisa apocho. Time need the sun ne khai gi apre. You see how perfect our religion is? Three hour a day is the perfect the sun of our time. Just like we don't cheat in our the sun, we're not supposed to cheat in the sun of our time 
24 hours. Okay? So we are all in same line, same page, same understanding. Another apne ka sawal nathi, apne badai ek saathe, apne badai mathe chya. Teacher? Okay, now, let's say some of you, you know, who are truly listening to Imam Farman, and they are waking up three and o'clock in the morning, not four, okay? So what we're going to do? We're going to add one more hour. Some of us give volunteer duty in Jamaat Khana before or after the Jamaat Khana. I'm going to add one more hour for that. And some of us, especially our sister, our mother, they do 12 o'clock afternoon tasbih let's say five minutes, let's say 10 minutes. I would like to give them a credit for entire hour. What do we have? We have a six hour. Now we have a six out of 24. You know what that gives us? One fourth mudlas. You may not be in a one fourth mudlas, but you are truly giving Mala Bapa one fourth. You see that? Practically, you are giving your life, your time, your day, one fourth to Mala Bapa, 25%. If we are doing this. So that is the good news that if you are doing this, by default, by nature, by your action, without saying anything, you are giving one fourth. Is it a still balanced life? What I mentioned this morning, never ever say that I'm balancing my life according to Imam Farman, never say that. You know why? It's, it's so uh, not humbleness. Is as a matter of fact, counts in the pride of someone if he says or she says, oh, I follow Imam Farman, I'm balancing my life. Either you are lying to yourself or you are cheating Mala Baba. Because I just showed you how one can at the most, at the most, can give six hour a day to the Imam. Where is that balance? But I also promised you, and you have hired a good wakil, I'm on your side and I'm gonna fight for you. Okay, I'm on your side. Now let me show you how you can balance the life. Okay, according to Mola Papa's plan. We're now gonna go outside the Mola Papa's plan. Okay. Sultan Muhammad Shah, 40th Imam, may our soul be sacrificed to him, have said in his firman, if you do tazvi and remember me before you go to sleep, I will count your sleep in your ibadat. Have a joy, have a have a sorrow, have a kill, melo che, give that loophole, goti goti, and a tamara mate apeche, tamari favor. Okay, so what time do we go to sleep? Let's say I'm going to put nine o'clock in the evening and nine to 12, one here. And I'm going to color this a little bit different so you can have a good chart in front of you. All right, so you sleep for six hours, okay? And if you, if, if you have done your tazvi and not watching TV, Indian drama jota jota na sui gya, tazvi karta karta, mola papa ne yaad karta karta, ek be sijta kari, ek be tazvi kari, ek be zikar kari, dua padi, you know, sari dua mangi, badai mate dua kari, 
तो मोला बापाए आपने एक शोर्टकट बताया रोचे एक लूप होल बताया रोचे हवे मने क्यों कि तुम्हारा घर सूच है व्हाट यू हैव नाउ अ बैलेंस हैव यू सी हाउ इजी दैट वाज मोला बापा विल नेवर गिव यू फरमान व्हिच यू कैन नॉट फॉलो mola will never give you farman which is impossible no mola always give you farman knowing if the big part jo ya ji che na if che if we use our logic and intellect then you can follow mola papa for you see when we began we all knew we can never do more than 3 hour am i right in my thinking and then second we say okay 6 hour and we got all happy that we got 6 hour but then when we came to mola papa's farman and understood that is possible to do 12 hour meaning perfect balance you see it was not that hard what did we do only thing we did was use our logic and intellect who told us to use our logic and intellect मौला बाबा से फरमान, 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 फरमान। Only if we understand the फरमान, only if we use our intellect, our logic, ठीक है? All right. So this was the balance. I, I hope you can take a screenshot of this, take a picture of this. Sir, la Please. last last question, पूछ सकता हूँ सर? पेशक इट्स नॉट अ प्राइड और लेट्स एंड द डे विथ अ स्माइल ऑन योर फेस आपके साथ हमने जो वन एंड हाफ घंटा स्पेंड किया है तो कैन वी ऐड दिस टू द चार्ट बेशक दिस इज कॉल्ड इल्मी इबादत थैंक यू सर दिस इज कॉल्ड इल्मी इबादत ओके थैंक यू एंड इल्मी इबादत इज पार्ट ऑफ आवर इबादत अजीज भाई वेरी ट्रू अजीज भाई एक पर्सनल सवाल है थोड़ा सा पर्सनल यहां पर ना पूछे तो अच्छा है छोटी सी बात है अजीज भाई अगर तस्वीर पढ़ते पढ़ते सो जाते हैं फिर क्या क्योंकि मौला का ये फरमान था कि आप मेरी तस्वीर पढ़ते पढ़ते सोए तो हमने इमाम के फरमान को माना ना इस वजह से मौला ने हम पर नवाजिश की और हमारी नींद को इबादत में गिन लिया ये इमाम की मर्जी है हमको इमाम ने एक ली अवे दिया है कि हम ऐसा कर सकते हैं क्योंकि अदरवाइज हम कैसा बैलेंस करते हैं तो मौला ने हमको एक लूप बोल दिया है कि देखो एक तरीका है कि आप अपनी लाइफ को बैलेंस कर सकते हैं अगर आप कभी नेक्स्ट टाइम नेक्स्ट वीक पूछेंगे कि क्या इससे भी ज्यादा हम बैलेंस कर सकते हैं तो चूंकि आपने अपना वकील अच्छा हायर किया है वो आपको इससे भी बेहतर तरीके बता सकता है सर पूछूंगी जरूर पूछूंगी इनशाला तो यानी ना दरअसल जो अभी पूरा दिन कोई जिक्र करता रहता है जो भी जिस तरह लोग मौला बोलते ना कहीं मला याला यानी तो फिर वो काउंट नहीं होता है बैलेंस में बेशक क्यों काउंट नहीं होता है क्यों काउंट नहीं होता है भाई आपने मौला का फरमान माना कि नहीं माना माना तो बेशक ऑफ कोर्स मोर देन मोर देन हो गया ज्यादा इनशाला यही तो लूप होल है सर आपकी नींद भी इबादत में गिरेंगे हम बोला तो रेहमान रही में आप फिक्र मत करे हम बहुत ज्यादा फिक्र करते हैं ऐसे फिक्र मत करे हम हमारा बाप ऐसा है तो बच्चों को क्या फिक्र है क्योंकि मोस्टली ऐसे होता है एज भी ऐसी होती है भाई एकदम से कभी लुढ़क जाते तो इतना सुबह उठते हैं ना कि अरे बाप रे आप लोग सो गए थे तो नहीं 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 तो गिल्ट होता है एक दिल